<coughs> hey guys, welcome to Bruce Reptiles, and today we're going to show you guys how to make a very cheap DIY type shelf shelf rack for your leopard geckos or snakes or whatever. This is for beginners, like straight up beginners. Oh, like I want to start breeding geckos. This is what you should start out with. And the ultimate price for me so far is like 45 bucks. That's all it took me to do this. And the only thing that I'm right now I don't have is uh, proper heating, but I do have heat pads and stuff. So I'll use those until I get the actual heating that I'm trying to get. And then I'll add that into the the ultimate price. So the first thing we have is this. Bought this from Walmart. A bookshelf that we're gonna we're gonna build but add on to it to make it what we want to use it for so this is a nice base to start with and this right here was only $22 and we bought ziplock ziplock boxes or containers these are perfect for the lay boxes or the moist moist hide all that stuff this was only a dollar 98 then we got Uh, we uh, we got four six quart containers. These are gonna be for our offspring, which I am incubating right now in the incubator over there. So these are for the the babies. And then we have four four six quart containers. And right now we have I believe three three twelve quart. Yeah, three twelve quart. Containers, these are going to be for the adults slash juveniles. And we uh, we have a total of two right now. And I ordered a few more just to add to the collection. So it's going to be pretty clean. So stay tuned for all that if you want to watch that. And some cheap stuff. Like, you don't got to go all out and, like, freaking buy an individual dish for every single one. So this is what I did. So the males necessarily don't need one of those, these these moist high boxes, cause that's mostly used for the females. So we're just gonna use these. They're bowls that we got at the Dollar Tree. We're just gonna cut a little, like a little tunnel in there so they can hide up in there. Of course, you gotta keep the containers moist and stuff to take care of them. And mind you, this is for beginners only. I'm not talking about no intermediates, no professionals, cause obviously a professional would know what they're doing. This is, you don't know what you're doing. This is giving you a little bit of knowledge of what to start off with. And then we got some plastic containers. It also comes with the lids. And these, you can put uh, uh, put your mealworms in there, dust them off to hold the, the calcium and keep them from going out. This also at the Dollar Tree. So this is a dollar. This was a dollar. Uh, this, a total of, we got three of them. They're $4 four dollars each. Yeah. Four dollars each, not bad. These were eighty-eight cents each, and so a total of about forty-five bucks. Then we we already had some containers that I got a while back. Those are that's like the last option, and you know. So we're gonna we're gonna be right back. We're gonna we're gonna build this first, and then we're gonna show you where we're gonna set it up, and then. All right, so welcome back. We just finished building it, and it's been a couple days since uh, the last part that you guys just seen, but for you guys, it's only been a few seconds. But we finished building it, and then so what I did was I put it in the closet, and I have this little shelf in my closet right here. Nice, very simple. Mind you, all of this was a whopping 42 bucks. And so right here, we just have the two the two top ones these are 12 quart containers which you could get at your walmart or whatever target for like five bucks and we have we have mocha and slim slim's the male mocha's the female we have eggs brewing in the incubator right now and so we made it a three shelf so we have three sections if we want to i could build another shelf right here add more containers which is nice. And so what everyone's probably asking is how do you maintain heat and stuff? So right now I'm doing it the getaway and I have this, this is simple heating pad. 
just right here. This is not uh, permanent. Once I can find some heat tape, I'm gonna line the whole back of the thing with the heat tape and then get a thermometer so we can know what exactly the heat is. So it'll be perfect for all of them so we don't have to like rig it with multiple heat pads all over the place. And it's gonna be a lot because you're gonna have all these wires and you don't want that. So, so the heat tape will be easy because you can all link it to one wire and then plug it up to wherever you want. So if you guys want, I'll show you what it looks like. I don't really want to show you Slim's because he, he went wild when I put him in there. So I'll just show you. The only reason we have the lids on is because we don't have the the shelf to cover it. So it's very simple. We got water dish right here. Got their food dish with a calcium mix and some mealworms in there that she just ate. Then we have her moist box slash lay box where they do they lay all their eggs and stuff nice um if you guys move her out the way and grab her so she just laid eggs a few days ago so she looks a little a little smaller than usual She's about to go through a shed. That's why she looks a lot darker than what she normally does. I've been trying to beef her up the last few days, feeding her a lot of mealworms and stuff because she's pretty hungry. But she's still getting used to her new home. But it's nice. She's Out of the two, she's the more calm one. She likes to be handled the most. So let's put her back. She doesn't want to be bothered. If you guys want to see, we can see where her, uh, see if she's ovulating. There should be like two uh, pink circles, which are eggs forming. They should be somewhere right there. I haven't looked recently, so I don't know how big they are. But if she's to lay again, she should lay in about five or six days. Cause they lay every uh, 10 to 14 days, that's, that's the average. So we put her back, more wild one. But you, you're gonna see the difference between their cages because he doesn't need to lay eggs. So we just got a simple cereal bowl where he's hiding under. He's a nice, nice guy, he's getting beefed up after I, uh, after they locked, I've been trying to beef beef him up. His tail's getting fatter. He's a nice look. I mean, he's. Uh, I'll look it up. Sorry about the dog. But he he's a nice looking guy. This is Slim. Right now he he should be jumping all over the place trying to run. But tail's getting fatter. Nice. Two new females. To start a project that I want to work on uh, ready to breed because right now they're only they're hatched in I believe August 19th so they're they're not that big I was talking to the breeder on Morph Market they're only uh, 15 to 20 grams optimal the op the more size you would want your female is at least 60 grams that's that's the average for most and so the two females that we're looking into is uh they are they're two visuals they're tremper, tremper albino murphy patternless they look pretty nice they're they're like a yellow almost and it looks pink so and then they have like the murphy patternless like paradox-esque pattern on it they look really nice if you guys want to i'll show a little picture right now to see what they look like so hopefully i can get them and if i order them sometime this week i should be getting them in about tuesday two two days because the breeder takes about two days to get all that stuff done so that'd be nice and if you guys want to look i'll show you the eggs 
I got a simple hover baiter, uh, therm the thermal air one. We have it set on about 84. So we're high, high temperature for females, but honestly, it doesn't matter about the male or females because I don't know if anyone else does this, but I kind of, like, just did it because I had both of them. We have the, the Perlite. You know, everyone uses the Perlite. Most, that's the most common one I've seen for the substrate of the eggs. But I also mixed it with a coconut, a coconut soil bedding because it holds a lot of moisture. So, like, I heard a lot of reviews about this one saying that it, sometimes it doesn't hold a lot of moisture. So... I just mixed, I, I, what I did was I lined the bottom of this container with about half an inch of the coconut bedding. And then I filled it up most with the rest of the perlite. Then I poured hot water in there just to keep it warm because these eggs didn't get into this one until like three days after. So I was already having it ready, cycled. Then I mixed it all up together, and so far it looks pretty nice. You can see the moisture hitting the top of the container. So, I feel like it's a good mixture. She, uh, she's laid three, um, three clutches. The first two, um, they died, or they went bad. About like, about let's say three weeks in, one egg went bad, and then the other one just recently went bad, like about a week and a half ago. But other than that, the rest look fine. So, this is how you guys build a a cheap rack system for only forty two dollars. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys take some of the ideas I may have put together and put it to your own use. And stay fly.